What's on your lesson plan today? Um, we're gonna Mom is mad at me because I won't dig through the trash. I had to play the Sicilian on him. I'm going to wash it, Katie! Oh, oh, does that look good? Please, someone use saran wrap on the yogurt. I know I'm being a sappy mom, but this is what I'm gonna miss. Brennan's not here. Still just being not together. Ryan's playing chess. Brennan, what are you doing? Just strolling social media? Okay. <laughs> it's a lazy Wednesday morning. Wednesday, what? Not lazy for Ryan. He's apparently in a big chess battle. I was playing. What? I was playing Chris, and I and I he he played D four, so I had to play the Sicilian on him. Oh! And right as he went Bishop C four, I should have known what he was going for. Uh. Moved my pawn up, mate, and I was like, Oh, Ryan! But I made this other kid resign. So okay, good. Sure. All right, so you're one and one today. No, I, I lost again. <laughs> oh lost shoot! Again before that. Oh no! To the same kid, so I'm one and one with Austin, and then Chris just beat me. So. Who would have known chess club would be so competitive? Brendan, what are you doing? Anything productive at all? Sleeping. Sleeping. I think I stopped in the mid-sentence. Wednesdays, the kids don't have school. It's 10 o'clock right now. I'm gonna go to the gym and then go to work. All right, excellent. Katie's still sleeping. But mm. she's gonna go teach ASL today to her little elementary school kiddos. Nice. I know, isn't that great? Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, enjoy your day today. It's gonna be sunny and beautiful. I hope so. Uh-huh, it's nice. That's nice to have a job outside when it's sunny and beautiful like that, you know? Right, adios. Good luck, Ryan. <laughs> Please, someone use saran wrap on the yogurt. Okay, okay. Brennan is begging for us to use saran wrap on the yogurt. Katie, would you like to explain what just happened? I used Chobani yogurt in my shakes. And I obviously I don't use the whole thing in one round of shakes because it's so big. I um, normally put the plastic top back on because it comes with a plastic top and you put it back on, but you have to peel the, there's like, you know how regular yogurts, you peel off the tinfoil oh, yeah. thing? Mm -hmm. That has that too, but it also has plastic so you can keep using it again. Anyways, so this one doesn't have the plastic on it. And I was like, well, that's unfortunate because how am I supposed to store it in my fridgey fridge? Sorry, saran your wrap. fridgey fridge. So Brennan screams. So Brennan keeps saying saran wrap. <laughs> Mom is mad at me because I won't dig through the trash to find the one that she threw away yesterday. I'm sorry, that's kind of ridiculous. Like of all the things you could be mad at me for, that. Well, because it's just so it's prissy. Um, it's, it's in here, honey. Here's the other one. Right here. I'm gonna take this. Nope. That's What's the solution? There's something stuck to. Ugh. I'm going to wash it, Katie. I'm gonna wash it. Surrender. <laughs> I'm disgusted. I can't. I I'm gonna wash I, it and put it on. I promise you. I promise you. I won't eat any of that yogurt if you put that top on it. Okay. Mom, you don't need to. are terrible. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna wash it. <laughs> Look at it! Clean as a whistle, ladies and gentlemen. That's disgusting. <laughs> I, ew. Princess. I think I'm not the only, like, I, like, you can't, Brennan, would you dig through the trash to look through the top of the yogurt and then put the yogurt back on? I will put saran wrap on. <laughs> Oh All right, guys, I put this on. What do you think? Do you think it's okay? Um, I mean, if Kate won't dig through the trash, that's crazy. I mean, I did it. I don't think it's a problem. But would you eat the are yogurt actually, with the new... Uh, right. Are you guys actually listening to what I'm saying? Are you just like... No, I understand that you want to put saran wrap on it. But, Brendan, saran wrap won't stick. Like, saran wrap will just get it's gross. Sticky. It's, but then you take it off, and then you got to throw it away and put a new one on because it's going to, around the outside, it's not going to stick, and then it's going to get all yogurty and just put the top back on. The one that was in the trash? The one that was You're in the talking trash. about saran wrap getting gross, but you took the top out of the trash? Yes. Wow. All right, you guys, what would you do? Comment down below. What would you have done? Wow, Mom, I can't believe you. Oh, can't believe you people you. are spoiled.
You kids. I just I, don't understand. We're not digging in the trash. So I don't understand how it is. That's what it's for. <laughs> it's not hard to get or put on or take off. And it keeps it fresh. Hey, shorties. Hey. Going Katie. to teach some kids sign language. What's on your lesson plan today? Um, we're going to go over the alphabet, just to make sure they remember. Then we're going to go over colors, okay. to make sure they remember those. And then we're going to do a hi, my name. And then we're going to start learning breakfast foods. Oh, that's fun. Right? Didn't you just learn that in class right now? Yeah. Oh, I forgot to put yogurt on here. So they're jumping ahead to... Um, to ASL3. To ASL3. Yeah. Um, you know what? I bet the people watching would like to learn some of that stuff, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It would be fun to do, like... Series on colors. And then, on colors. Uh, and then a series on breakfast foods. And then a yeah. series. On, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I forgot to put yogurt in my breakfast foods. Well, do you know what yogurt is? Okay, so you'll have to just. Isn't that cool? It's very cool. This is a Y, so it's like yogurt. Yes. Yes. Hey, Katie, have a great Thanks. class. Love you. I love you. I will see you when you are done, though. Okay. Adios. Alright, guys, it is such a beautiful day. We decided we have to take advantage of it. So we're going downtown. So everybody went crepes. Crepes and water. I ended up not getting a healthy one. <laughs> oh. Ben, he got a Reuben crepe. Ryan got a French toast with bacon crepe. Is there any like nutritional value to this? So no, no. <laughs> not really. It's just calories. It's <laughs> just calories. I usually go apple crisp. Mm-hmm. Well, now I don't want to eat it. Which is caramelized apples, uh, graham cracker crumbs, and cinnamon. So good. It's insane. But I went with the French toast. So Bacon in the sun. Mm -hmm. Did you get nappy pins? I didn't. You can go in and get some. I'm so sorry. Normally they okay. put them in the bag. I got the classic, which is ham and Gruyere cheese. I hope I say that right. Gruyere. Gruyere, Gruyere cheese. I'm not exactly sure that's right. Look at this driver. Look how beautiful it is. Oh my gosh. That's, that's a nice driver. Right? Ping. Oh my gosh. Oh, Brian. Have you seen him bombs with this? Oh, yeah. 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 Can't wait. I'm gonna try out these two drivers and see which one I like better. But yeah. Right, I'm gonna go to the beach and see the boys and then come back, do some math, and then go to the Dragon Range. Perfect. That's, an, that's a perfect Wednesday. Right? After you've already. I just got, I already did all of my other homework, got crepes, and. Head Chess Club. Head Chess Club. It's a perfect Wednesday. You can't beat it. All right, have fun at the beach. Thank you. See you around 445. All right. Bye. And way too expensive. So. Ryan's checking out the new golf clubs. We're at the golf center now. The new Ping G 425s. I told Ryan on the way here, he's a little bit of a golf nerd. Which okay. I guess if, they, if you're going to be a nerd, I mean, you should be a nerd about the thing you love, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. That's not a bad thing, mm -hmm. actually. It's kind of a good thing. Yeah. yeah. Actually, it's a very good thing. If you're a golfer, you know. A driver can be very attractive. Yes. <laughs> I know. I got my so this before we good. get a chance to make pop. All right, you guys. So Katie and I have decided to make the famous... Don't say it out loud, feta, because the boys won't eat it if they know the it's boys feta. Don't eat it. You have to take feta tomatoes away from me because I'm just Don't, you gotta stop, you gotta stop. The famous feta tomatoes um, pasta from TikTok. So, we're gonna give it a whirl. So, can you get the measuring cup out, please, really quick? We're making two batches of it because Katie said that she thinks the boys would eat one whole batch and we wouldn't get any. Yeah, and I also wanted to get whole wheat pasta. And Kate's gonna use the whole wheat pasta. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. You need to measure out two cups of tomatoes. Like With this? this? Yeah. Well, how do I just pour them in there? Yeah. Oh, oh, uh oh. There you go, there's one. I know. All right, so one garlic clove, which for us chopped is a half a teaspoon. Perfect. Yeah. And now a quarter cup of olive oil, right here. Ooh. Nice. Grab a spoon, stir that baby up. In the mixture. Yes, coat that all together. And I forgot to tell you, we need one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of pepper. So add that in there for me, please. Wow. Wait, okay. Where are we okay. Oh, okay. Ready? Do, 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 do. See, that's so much easier. Nice. Oh, yeah. And pepper. Wait, I need to hold it with the opposite hand because I can only pour ah, it with the right with the, oh, I got it. That's okay. a good idea. Yes. <gasps> nice, Kate. <laughs> Stir that baby up. We're going to put some feta cheese right in the middle. Bon appetit. Wait, mom, we should be doing this together because we have two of them to make. I know. Yeah, so I, I have to make sure that my. Do I have to make sure these yeah, are it's even funny because distributed? The picture shows that there's like tons of tomatoes, but maybe it's because it's a smaller baking dish. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, great. Okay. Ready? Yeah, I know it. 
Okay. Is that it? Is that That's it. Right? Okay, so now I have to do. You know what I think you should do? Put more so, tomatoes in? Yeah, just a couple more. Well, see, I'm going to save these for yours. Yeah, okay. But maybe I'll just, you yeah. know. Just a couple. Yeah. Make sure they're mixed up. Okay. All right, you ready? Also, maybe... No, 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 no. Because I need those. Oh, oh. Katie Elizabeth. Okay. I can't take them out now. now. They're covered in oil. Take um a teaspoon. Wait, hold on. We put more yeah. oil on top and some oregano. Hold on one second. Okay. Oh wait, lemon zest too. You can get the lemon zester oh. out. Oh, it's over. Yeah. Do you know where that is? Do I have to cool. This? I already did. Guys, Kaden texted oh, me. Time out right in the middle of dinner. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna send a picture. Okay, so one tablespoon of olive oil, please, on top of the feta. Well, what do I do with my lemon zester? I'm going to do that in just a second. Okay. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. On top of the feta? Yep. Just lay it right on top of there. Yum. <laughs> and now a teaspoon of oregano. Do you know where to find the oregano? Yeah. Okay. In the spice we're under O. That's right. Onion powder. Cilantro. <laughs> Wait, that's not It's right. definitely not alphabetical. It's yes, hard to find up, though. It is. Here we go. Oregano, I think, is right there. Oh, -ho! there you go. Oh, One teaspoon or table. Wait, what did I say? It smells fire. I think I know oregano smells so I good. I think it's a tablespoon. Yeah. But hold on one second. Let me double check. Okay, it's one teaspoon. I think I may have just gotten some oil in the oregano. Oh no, cross contamination. Oh. Yeah, this is a big no in the um, my health class. My health teacher did not. So did I just all over? No, just yeah, uh, on the feta. Mind. Apparently, just on the feta. Eventually, after we bake it, we'll like mix it all up. Mix it all up, yes. Wait, that looks get. Yeah. Wait, it kind of looks like dirt. <laughs> dirt. <laughs> it kind of looks like I dug up some playground dirt and put it on the fence. A little bit. Yeah, that's okay. That looks good though. Oh my gosh! Now some lemon zest. That's your favorite part. Oh, this will be fun. Oil off my handies. Okay. Okay. Guys, this looks fire. So, How good does that where look? Where do I put it? Just over the. Apparently, over the feta. Oh my gosh! Is it getting on there? Yes. Oh, can I? Can I? Okay, no. Mm. Okay, look at that. I'm like, mm. it's sneaky. That's great. Okay, do I put this in now? Put that in, yes. Oh my gosh, how long have I done it for? Um, if, let me check. I think yeah. it's 45 minutes. 45 minutes? I know, and then we have to put the pasta on boil. I'll put mine in there. What? Just a second. I know, crazy. Oh my goodness. Wait, it's 25 to 30 minutes. Which is uh, much better. So okay. For that. 27. And what is going on here? Oh, that's not for you. <laughs> Cut the cameras. All right, you guys. So this baked, and look, now the tomatoes blistered and the feta cooked. It's soft. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. So we just put, now this is between three and four leaves of basil that you chop and put in there. We did three because our basil leaves are huge, mungus. Look, they're huge. So we did three. And Katie boiled a pound oh. of, oops, <laughs> whole wheat pa uh, penne rigate. Go ahead. Oh, wait, so you mix this first, and oh. then you put the pasta in. I'm gonna use this to hold it. Because yes, it's so that's a good out. idea. All right, let's see. Ooh, oh, does that look good? Am I doing it right? Yeah, I think so. Am I supposed to do it? Yeah, and blister all it, like, pop all the tomatoes, you know what I mean? Pop yeah. them? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. I wish you guys had smell of vision It smells so mm, good. It smells delicious. I'm all about super simple meals with, like, few mm. ingredients. It's one of the reasons I love this recipe. I'm loving it so far. I will say that. And I love, like, Green Chef. And I just love, like, sort of just having, easy I don't know, things. five or so. Exactly. Easy. This um, really didn't take that long. Oh, my gosh. It looks so good. Mom, shut the front, the front door. door. How did you know I was gonna say that? Because we're the same person. Oh, yeah, you're so great. Wow, this looks, this, real, honestly, this is amazing. I can't even believe, this is like everything I dreamed it would be. <laughs> I feel like a Disney princess, but to fall in love with this pasta. Okay. Just smush, just smush that one. Thank you. What, are, am I supposed to smush them? Yeah. Okay, now mix okay. it in, mix it in, mix it in. Mix it in. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's a lot of pasta. A lot of pasta. Oh, hey, oh. How am I supposed to mix it all together without letting it all fall out, you know? Yeah. Yeah, just, yep, just dig in from the bottom. Oh. 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 Oh, that looks good. All right, you guys, we'll oh, come back. Mom. What? Guys, mom, guys, you have to come back when it's all mixed together. This is the second one. 
We have two. This is a lot of food, Kate. I know. We have, we have <laughs> I think. <laughs> yes, exactly. But the good news is, is I think it'll hold till so, so, you know tomorrow. We can have leftovers. So yeah. So good. Okay, I'm gonna mix mine up. <laughs> Katie can't stop freaking out. <laughs> How good does that so look? Good. It deserves the hype. So good. It totally deserves the hype. What'd you just do? Oh no, you can't drop a noodle. No. Yum. Ah! All right, so let's round up what how the uh, dinner go. It let's was really good. It. Were you happy with it? Yes, it was so good. Oh, good. So was Brennan. It exceeded so my I. expectations, and my expectations were high. They were high. Holy cow. We had to call it um, Tuscan pasta, though, because... Because Brennan doesn't like veg. Yeah, yeah, so he didn't even know. But he yeah. liked it. He liked it. Yes, just like, what was the other story? So he... Pizza did, chicken. <laughs> yes, he never liked Parmesan cheese. So I couldn't call he chicken like Parmesan... in general. Yes. So I couldn't call chicken Parmesan chicken Parmesan because he would have not eaten it. So I called it pizza chicken and he loved it. <laughs> because it looks like pizza. Yes. On, it looks like pizza except on a chicken. Exactly. Like the chicken breast. And he had no idea there was Parmesan in it. Yeah, yes. he loved it. Exactly. All right, Katie Kate, what made you happy today, sweet girl? <sighs> what made me happy today was... You did a lot today. I did do a lot today, didn't you I? You taught your little kids. That was today? Yes. I really like teaching my little kids today. We had an outside class. It was really nice. And then... Making dinner with you was really fun. That was fun. It was a really good uh, din din. Mm -hmm. um, going to Sophie's Crepes was fun. Wow. We did, we did a lot today. <laughs> going to Sophie's was fun. Hanging out with Kaden was fun. Um, but I didn't really get to hang out with them. We just kind of did homework the whole time. Yeah. That's okay. That's good. Really that's sad. That's hanging out, though. Yeah, and it's not like we... Because... Stop, Air Mom. conditioning. <laughs> so it terrible. airs out my pit. Oh, my um, gosh. It's not like we always have to be doing something together, because as long as we're together, it's like, you know. That's nice. Yes. Hey, happy eight-month anniversary. I think so. It was like yesterday. Yesterday. Huge. Yeah. Huge excitement. All right. Very good. Good night, sweet dreams. I love you. Yes, I love you. I'll see you in the morning. Okay. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Kisses. Kisses. Good night, guys. <laughs> okay. What made you happy today? Uh, let me get intel from the from the commentators box. Boys, what made me happy today? Dude, yeah. Beach day with the boys. Yes. You know what I'm Charlie. Do, 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 do. Uh, me being so much better than Charlie at COD. <laughs> no, okay. He, he, he said he said being so much better than me at COD. Nice. You said that you had the um ultimate Wednesday today. Yeah. It was great. I felt very productive, productive, but it was also very fun. Fantastic. Um. So yeah. That's a good thing. Yep. All right. Absolutely. Good night, sweet dreams. I love you. Nice, love you too. Okay. After this game, gotta go to bed. Everybody, can you hear me? Uh, it's time to go to know, bed that's, that's, after this that's, game, that's, all of that's you. Not the mic. That's not... Oh, where's nah. the mic? Um, to my phone. But um, all right, you guys, you gotta go to bed. Hey, 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 hey. I, no promises, but uh, I'll take the suggestion. <laughs> you take it under consideration. Uh, yeah, it will be. A, I'll pass it on to the community. How about you, Brendan? What made you happy today, baby doll? Uh, I hit, finally hit no. legs. Oh. You hit legs? Today. Congratulations. How Thank was it you. bending your knees? Uh, it was fun. Okay. Did you crack yeah. anything? No. No. I got a good sleep last night. Good for you. Got a good work in today. Excellent. Good day at work. Good. And then good day at work. Fantastic. So, productive Wednesday all around. Congratulations. Sure. I like that. Um, also, you know the chicken sandwiches we have? Yes. I microwaved an egg so it would like, like be in the perfect shape and yes. I put it on top of the chicken sandwich. Really? That would make me happy. An yeah. egg and a chicken. I always think it's weird eating an egg and a chicken together. That's what they say, but Chick-fil-A says you can do it. Okay, well, Chick-fil-A says that they're king of chicken, so exactly. it's all good. Well, did you put barbecue sauce on it? No. Just, no just egg and... All right, congratulations. Thank you. All right, good night, sweet dreams. I love you. I should love you, too. Have a great night. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, what made me happy today? There were a lot of things that made me happy today, and I won't take you through the deluge of all of them, but I have to say the high, 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 high highlights were when I pulled up to pick up Katie after she was... Um, teaching her sign language class. And I didn't know they were gonna be outside, so I got a chance to see her teach, and that just 
like warmed my heart. She did a phenomenal job and the kids love her and she was just so comfortable and um, easygoing and um, welcoming to the kids. I'm, I'm really, really proud of that. Um, also, what made me happy today was taking Ryan to golf and him just, he just lights up whenever he's around golf. So it's nice to have him do that. I miss Mike, but hopefully, um, well, I know he'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> and um, and Brennan, he and I had a great conversation tonight about um, college choices. So today is April 28th. College choices are due on May 1st. We won't hear, I don't think, about Naval Academy until April 30th. So he'll have maybe maybe 10 hours to make a decision on where he wants to go to school. So um, if the Academy accepts him, that is. Now, if the Academy doesn't accept him, then then he can make his decision. So um, anyway, I will we'll do a video about that. But um, so we had a nice conversation about like the realities of, of what could come down the pike. So that was very good and um, I love having heart to hearts like that with my kids. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's vlog and we hope that you're having a wonderful, wonderful week and we can't wait to hear all about what made you happy today. So please comment down below and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.